Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Molly. I am a member of Console Gaming League, uh, Kunoichi, the women's division specifically. And so if this is your first time here, because this is the first time I'm playing this game, I mostly am a content creator and particularly a commentator um, for Mortal Kombat 11. But recently I've been trying to branch out more and try a bunch of new fighting games, so I've been playing Killer Instinct a lot lately and loving it. Um, I play a little Street Fighter V and I'm trying to get a little more back into that again, um, especially with Rose coming out. And now I'm really excited because I'm about to try out for the first time you guys know because you're here and it's in the title, uh, Skullgirls. Um, so I'm a little nervous because this is a very different sort of fighting game in like every way than Mortal Kombat, which of course is my main area of expertise. But I'm just really excited to try it because everyone that I know that has played this game or that talks about it absolutely loves it and, and just goes crazy over it and really wants everyone to play and learn. So I see that as only a positive, a good thing, a good side in its favor. So I guess today I'm gonna open it up. I haven't even opened the game yet. I have gone and watched a couple YouTube videos to try and get a sense of some of the basic structure um, and got into the stream of a couple streamers a few times recently just to kind of get a sense of if I wanted to even try it out and I'm gonna give it a go. So I haven't even opened the game at all. I'm gonna open it up, check it out, and then my main plans for today are to do the basic tutorial and then to just look a little bit at the characters and try and get a sense of decide which characters I might be interested in playing or putting on a team. Um, I always think that's a good start with a new game to do first. Um, so again, if you're new here, I usually don't have like hats and stuff on, and if you're not new here and you're wondering about it, um, I've been doing a lot of filming throughout the course of the day, and sometimes when it gets later in the day, I just get sick of my hair. So I just threw this hat on. I thought it would be fun because I've got my, my little unstable unicorn pins on here of the four unicorns of the apocalypse. <laughs> We got, we got famine, I'm trying to get this over here, and then war, and then plague, he's got a little plague mask, and then death, so I just love it, I love it. Alright, so anyway, now that I've shown off my hat and uh, explained a little bit about who I am and my plans, let's open up and try out Skullgirls, I'm excited. Here we go. It's gonna be that. All right, beginner tutorials. Let's see, introduction to movement. Beginners, primary basic character movement and maneuvering. Oh, okay. Up to jump, press up and forward to jump towards and up and back to jump away, okay? Press up to make your character jump. Jump over three. Consecutive bombs. I gotta make sure I time it right. Woo! Why is this already adorable? Alright. Normal attacks. Six normals. Light punch, medium punch, heavy punch. Light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. Alright, so those... This, again, is... Pretty straightforward, like Street Fighter and Killer Instinct. Again. <laughs> Only Mortal Kombat is the weird game! Alright. Hit a button to perform a normal attack. Seriously, any button. Okay. Jumping. Normal skin executed while jumping. They work differently in the air. Mm hmm. Jumping are notated with a small J before the button. Jumping light punch, J light punch. Okay. And then crouching. Yeah, so that's all. This character with the crazy arms on her head is nuts. So like Sadira in Killer Instinct? Yeah! Super jump. Everyone can jump if they dig deep. Quickly tap down and then up. So like a charge? 
No. You gotta be... It's really fast. Okay, so it's not like a charge character where you hold it down, it's just fast. <laughs> Special attacks. Yep. You can find a complete list of all special attacks in the pause menu. Alright, so... These look like Street Fighter motions and Killer Instinct motions, too. Yup. Ooh, I unlocked an achievement. The sequence of directional inputs is a standard motion for executing special attack. And will be notated as the weird circle. <laughs> Other motions, similar. Oh, not the, the Z. Not the Z. All these weird Street Fighter motions, man. Special attack strength. Most special attacks change on the strength of the button. Mm-hmm. Philly's ringlet spike attack is performed with a down forward punch. Try to hit her with all three. No, you said down forward, bro! Oh. I did it. Oh, okay. Come back. There we go. This one's probably far away. Yep. No! There we go. <laughs> no, it isn't. There it is. Okay. That girl looks like a kitty. Miss, Miss Fortune looks like a kitty, and I like that. Tagging. Even on a team, you'll only control one fighter at a time. You can switch which fighter is on point by tagging another one of your teammates. To tag character 2, press medium punch, medium kick. Tag character 3, heavy punch, heavy kick. Alright. Each character will attack in a different way when tagged. Woo! This is so funny. Ensemble attacks. You can call your team members to assist with a quick attack. These ensemble attacks can be useful to put pressure on your opponent. Ooh. Light punch and medium kick. Okay, so this gets funky. Might light punch, medium kick, or medium punch, light kick. Okay. Heavy punch and medium kick. Alright, 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 alright. Oh. oh, maybe. So it's this? Yeah, it is. It's R1 and R2. Okay. Thank God! Because <laughs> that's some weird positioning. Facing an opponent you don't feel confident? No problem. By consuming one level of tension, you can perform an outtake and knock them into next Tuesday. Down forward and. Okay. Nope. Uh doot doot Killing the opponent with an outtake makes them unable to call their teammates in for an ensemble attack for a full five seconds. That's interesting. So it controls their teammate? So you hit your F. As a single character team against an opponent using a team of two or more can heal a portion of Interesting. Using an outtake with a team of two or more characters against a single character team can remove all the opponent's risk. There is a lot in this game, isn't there? There's a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to learn. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy, isn't it? Shit. Did okay against the easy ones? Oh no, oh, that, that didn't go so well. No, I was definitely pressing down. Bro, this is hard. It resets every time. My one doesn't count anymore. No, I hate this. What was that? Girl, you did like a slide. 
Is that not a low? I don't like this. very hard there's worse than that shit oh no why did I stay it I did it Oh my god. Guys. That was rough. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Poking, yes. Pokes, yes. Attack with some pokes. Get with crouching light punch or crouching light kick. Okay. Mm hmm. Poking with chains. Poking with crouching light kick into crouching medium kick. Hit confirm chains. Support damage to risk your hit confirm helps you test if it's safe. If your poking chain hits, you know you can safely combo into more dangerous heart attacks. If your poking chain is blocked, you should try another poking chain. Okay, yeah. Hit confirm light kick into medium kick to crouching heavy kick. Okay. See, that's part of the problem is I gotta actually know whether it hits or not. I guess yellow is hit. Pink is not. Yeah. So yellow is it hit. Pink is it was blocked. Nice. I like that. I like that there's a color thing to board me. High low mix ups. When on the offense, you'll have more success if you vary the height. Yes. Attack with a jumping attack that must be blocked high, and then crouching attack. Mm -hmm. Hit a crouching light kick after a jump heavy punch. No. I'm not close enough. Bro! There. Okay, hit with an overhead attack after the opponent blocks low. So. That was not it. Is that not an overhead? Wait, oh, I gotta do back heavy kick. So, chain C medium kick and do. Alright. Eh. Uh oh. Correctly respond to defense. Try using a high low mix up. If your mix up is blocked, chain into an overhead. Mix up hits the opponent. Shit. Shit. Jump heavy punch. Crouching light, crouching medium, then standing. Okay. No! No, I'm doing the wrong thing. Sweep. What is sweep? Crouching heavy kick. Okay. No, what? be the standing. I did one! And standing heavy kick if it was blocked or crouching if it was connected. Okay. Nope. Yep. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And another attack while opponents are defending with combo with the previous attack. Okay, standing heavy punch into standing heavy punch. Mm 
canceling. Okay, I'm starting to cancel this text. Stop the cover. I'm starting another. Okay. Chains. Light kick, medium kick, heavy punch. Alright. Mm -hmm. I feel like this would be easier. You know what I mean. Standing light kick, standing light kick. Standing medium kick, standing medium kick. Standing heavy kick, punch, heavy punch. Nope, nope, nope. Yes. This is definitely seems like it would be easier with buttons that are not. Maybe I should be learning this on the hitbox. Skipping forward and chains. Billy can chain left punch, left kick, medium punch, medium kick, heavy kick. However, if you try and do this combo, the medium kick will sometimes miss because medium punch will push them out of range. You can skip the attack and do light punch, light kick, medium punch, heavy kick instead. Okay. I fucked it up. Oh, that was punch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Standing medium punch. Crouching medium kick. Cr okay. Nope, nope, nope. Close. There we go. Ah. The art is also cute. It's also cute in this game. Canceling into specials. Normal skill to cancel into specials anytime. Nice. special attacks into blockbusters. Alright, so hairball. Okay. It. it works. I'm doing it. Chain special attacks and blockbusters can all be used in conjunction with each other to create hard hitting combos. So we're gonna do stunt dunt 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 and then I don't I don't remember what those are. You have not helped me, sir. Standing. Oh, I was so close. I had to do it again. I had to do the double thing. Yes. I'm so proud of me. Ophelia's Gregor Sampson, then cancel into Cerebella's Diamond Dynamo by entering the motion before the Gregor Sampson attack ends. Okay, but I can't see that. What that is. So I guess I'm gonna just try. Alright, so. That was cool. Okay. I feel like a lot of this is timing. Like, figuring out the right timing to input things. I still have to do the character tutorials. But I think I kind of have a basic idea of the main points of the game. But there is a lot. Like, a lot. So I'm definitely going to forget a ton of it. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is just go into the training room in general and just look at some of the characters. Three, I guess? Who do I want first? This lady, because she's sweet. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess that. I have to do her thing first, I think. 
Now who else do I want to look at? Cat lady. <laughs> and Egyptian lady. Okay. Um, alright. What else we wanted to look at? This one? Another question I gotta figure out. Yeah. All right, there's Kitty Lady. Her head pops off. There's an assist, and then this is the other assist, right? There's my- Oh, she's so tall! Ah! Oh, I like her. Yee! It's interesting. Who is that? Get my head back! How do I get my head back? How do I get my head back? I have no head! Change characters. Let's see some others. This girl that I had over there I wanted to look at. Fukua. And... Squiggly? Wait, wait. No, I don't want that guy. Oh no! Bro, go back to player one. I didn't mean to do it like that! Alright. So this one, she's the like supposed clone character. So she's got some stuff that's supposed to be like similar to the main girl, I think. Alright, you get out of here. What is that? This, li this little girl, I like her too. But yeah. This one, the little dead girl. Squiggly. I don't really want that guy. It's a guy. I don't really like playing guys. Sorry. Interesting. All right. I also wanted to look at. Hang on. Let's 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 change characters again. One more time. Let's do it. Um. All right. So I wanted to look at. Where's the crazy nurse lady? Valentine. And then the new girl. Oh, press start to select palette. I should have done that, huh? Oh, 
I'll have to figure that out. Oops. I wish she wasn't quite so boobalicious. It's just, it's just a little too juggly for me. But I, I like, like she's got some speed and stuff. She's a little too booby. Ah, I like that. That's cool. And so then this is the new girl, and she's got this bunny, which I like. She seems like a rainbowy character, which I like. gonna have to do the tutorials that's what's gonna have to happen guys but this girl is cool looking I like the bunny I like the dead bunny <sighs> okay so that was an interesting experience <laughs> um, first impressions so far are all good I have to say the tutorial had some parts that were difficult, and for me, I think a lot of it just came down to... Like, you have to figure out, it seems, very specific timing for when to input the next button in any sort of combo attack. Especially if you're doing a jump in, and crouching ones, and adding all, all of them in there. So I think that some of those are like higher level combos that I wouldn't be doing at first anyway. Um, but it's okay. I'm definitely gonna have to do the character tutorials before I can make a decision, which is unfortunate because I kind of wanted to just be like, oh, let me go in and play around and uh, and see what they look like and everything and just have fun and kind of decide. But there's a bunch that I'm interested in, so I'll have to do the ca character tutorials for them next and maybe some story mode stuff and that'll help me decide on who I'd want to eventually put into a team. But the ones that visually strike me right off the bat are Parasol and Eliza um, and Miss Fortune, Fortune, the kitty girl. But then I'm also interested in, in Valentine and I feel like if she wasn't so mm, then maybe I would be even more interested. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just, kinda, it's just a lot. Um, and then Squiggly because she seems extremely cute and uh, the new girl. Uh, Annie character also seems extremely cute, so I'm gonna have to check out all of their training tutorial stuff and then make some choices. So. Alright, I think this is gonna wrap it up here, guys. So thank you for joining me for my first Skullgirls video, my first day on the game, and um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.